Now I would like to show you how to connect loopback application with MySQL. First of all, you have to create your database in your MySQL workbench. When you click on the schema, it is going to open this editor. You can choose any name. I'm going to choose LB demo db lb underscore demo underscore db i'm gonna click on the apply now you can see that a database has created successfully Now it's time to create a new data source in your loopback application. I'm going to use this command lb4 data source. I think I updated my loopback CLI, so I'm going to press Y. The data source name, which is MySQL. You can choose any name. I'm going to use MySQL. Here I need to select the MySQL database. I don't have any connection string, so I'm going to press enter. Now it's time to provide the host name 127.0.1, which is localhost. 3306 the port should be 3306 end user which is root you gotta provide your password i'm gonna provide the database name which is lb demo underscore db it is going to install the mysql connector now you can see that a loopback mysql connector has installed I'm going to open that data sources folder. And you can see the you can see the mysql dot data source dot json file. Name is mysql connected is mysql. I don't need to provide URL. If you're using production ready string, you have to provide that host port user password and the database name you can find the typescript file here mysql data source it is going to extend the jugular data source it is going to inject the configuration so we have created the data source now what is the next step we need to have model and we need to tell this model will use the mysql data source how can you do that we have only product model. This product model is using the built-in memory data source. But where I would like to create a new product. I would like to create a new model. LB4 model. I'm gonna create the student model because we are gonna build some relationship in the next module. A student can enroll into multiple courses. I'll show you how to implement one to many and many to one and one to one has a relationship. Persisted model with ID. Yes. I'm going to press enter. Let's define the property. First one is ID. The number. Yes, this is the ID property. Yes, it is required. Default value. I don't have any one the first name of the student i'm going to press string yes it is required i'm going to press the last name type a string yes it is required i don't have any default value so we have the three fields in the student model first name last name and the id i'm going to press enter cool a model has created i'm going to open this model student model Cool. 
you will see the ID, first name, last name. Now we need to have repository. So I'll be for repository provide the correct operation. Yes, continue. Now I'm going to create a repository for the MySQL data source. I'm going to press space. I have to choose the student. You can select that by pressing the space because we have created the student model. Yes, default CRUD repository. Boom, awesome. You can see this student repository. The data source is which is MySQL. So we have created the repository. Now it's time to create the controller function. Actually, it's a class. Name of the class, which is student. I'm going to, I need the rest controller with grad function. The model, which is student, student repository. Yes, what is the name of the ID, which is ID. The type of the ID, which is number. Yes, it looks good slash students. Awesome. A controller has created. Now you can see the controller function. Everything looks good. Now what I have to do, I got to run the project. It is going to give me this error argument of type exclude colon string array is not assignable assign object literal may only specify known property exclude does not exist I'm going to check the definition type JSON schema type interface do we have exclude no what the heck is wrong is that I think there is a gotcha or problem here you can see the JSON schema interface there is no exclude property why I think we need to delete that I'm going to get rid of this one. Maybe you can use partials. I don't know about that. Set this flag to mark all pro option. No, no, no. No, no. I think we need to delete that. I'm going to comment this code. My application is running. Now it's time to test that. I'm going to open API Explorer. Now you can see that student controller here. Let's try to create a new student. We need to provide the ID, which is one. I'm going to create a new student.
oops internal server error let's try to review what is this error aha no such a table lb demo db dot student does not exist i got it what is the problem because we don't have a table inside your mysql database you can see the lbd demo underscore db there is nothing here there is no table so we need to use the migrate feature loopback migrate feature there is a file migrate.ts file you gotta open this file hey we need to tell manually please migrate my models ah here we have the models we need to provide the name of the model please create a new table whenever i will change the property inside the student model i'm telling to loop back then you have to migrate or update the mysql database so to run this command what you gotta do first of all you need to run the build project you need to build the project by npm run build so they have created the command for migrate you gotta use that migrate so i'm gonna run migrate my project whenever i will update the property i will try to mic i have to migrate this migrate only works with sql databases it does not work with mongodb database now you can see that it has successfully altered the existing schema now i would like to show you i'm going to refresh that refresh all aha you will see the student table there is nothing here you will see the id first name and the last name now i'm gonna run the project because we built that we migrated our database i'm going to start the project the application is running it's time to create a new student record wow amazing a new record has created I'm going to show you by selecting the students select rows boom you will see the first record I don't think how can I in increase the font size I don't know but you can see that we have the first name and the last name You can count all the students. I have only one student. You can get all the students. You can see the error here. 